D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to connect this MN converter the latest model guys the latest model how to connect this to your computer how to connect it to your Mr. Beach City multi systems you know and to uh, read the data to view the data okay uh, but before we get into the video, as always, I want you to go ahead and smash that uh, bell icon and subscribe. Or subscribe first and then smash the bell icon. And so when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. So I had a video like this already on my channel featuring the older version of the MN converter. SD card right on the side. The older version. Now this right here is the newer version. So I figure I'll just do a quick video, show you guys you know, how to get this one online and um it's pretty much the same thing but you know all right so uh let's get into it so as you can see right now um this one here says sd card right here and the reason for that is because um there's an sd card right there i won't pull it out but it's there so the reason for that is like right now i am connected m1 m2 and then here it says communication for communication for the communication cable and then on the other side over here this other sets of m1 m2 that's for your centralized so on the left that's for your mnet uh, which goes inside to your indoor units and on the right so over here this side is for your centralized controller um some um that's where you want to put your wires as you can see and I'm here and here and one of them two so I got my wires and there's a clip from this one um, it has a uh, USB like a printer cable other hand is just a regular USB that goes into your computer all right it's pretty much that straightforward guys again um, you're gonna make sure that you you clamp it on to your if you're on a condenser you're gonna clamp it on to your uh, mnet line that goes uh, in between the indoor unit or the same line that goes mnet line that goes to the indoor units or you can go to the indoor unit and connect it to any of the indoor units you can go to the branch box connected any of the connected to the mnet at the branch box if you've got a, a mnet thermostat uh, you can go to the mnet thermostat and connect it over there too but right now i'm plugged up to the system and the green light is on and it's flashing so that means i'm actually collecting data right now I'm recording system pressures, temperatures, and all that stuff right now, which I could view offline, right? Once I uninstall the SD card and put it into my computer, right? And then you can view the data through the maintenance tool, all right? Well, let's get it connected to the computer. Stay tuned. So again, I simply just plug in the USB wire. It's a printer cable. Here's the other hand from the MN converter. Going into M1, M2, same Mnet communication um, terminals that goes between the indoor and the outdoor. You don't want to use this one here. This is for a centralized controller on this side. All right, so you leave the right side, you're going to use the left side, not the right side. Okay, just remember that. Just like I see it here, just like you see it here, you can copy and follow me. That side. All right, that's the correct place to put it. Don't do this side over here because that's the main power. You're going to ruin the tool. Um, so yeah, I'm connected right now and, um, you know, even though it was recording, um, standalone, it's still his link to my computer just to where they would just plug it right in. No issues. No, 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 don't have to press any button. Don't have to change anything. This button right here is to, um, format the SD card or if you want to, um, unmount it. So one second, 10 seconds, whatever you want to do. Straightforward. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch my uh, maintenance uh, tool software. Um, so again, you can get this um, maintenance tool software from www.mylinkdrive.com. Uh, and um, it's a free software. When you go to the website, go on, go to software and scroll down to the bottom and you will get this um, latest version download it for free version 5.4 4 is the latest version 
and so you see right away it sees my pack uh, pack uh, PACU whatever crazy model number same as here and the, the older one MN converter I think is this one here if you watch my other video right so you have to make sure you select the right one so if you're using the older version all this is a newer version if you're using the older version you have to select this one right here all right CSC MS M N G E just go by the, the number that's on the device it's gonna always be a number on here so in this case this is the number right here and this is the number right here already selected and I'm on COM port 3 USB so good to go all right so I'm gonna click select and that's it I'm going in baby again if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe Okay, so once you're up here, the screen comes up like this. You want to select auto because you don't know where your units are. If you know where your units are, you could select them manually, but I, I, I'm just going to go auto. Just like that, as you see here. Oh, this thing is going crazy right here. Okay, there you go. Select auto. If you can see that, it's kind of flickering a bit. And it's going to count through and find all automatically populate all of your indoor units and uh, your outdoor units and branch box whatever you have in the mnet um, system it will automatically populate it search and bring it up for you all right so i got two indoor units so far and they're in alarm okay and once you get to your outdoor unit guys you're pretty much done um so actually i got oh it's four indoor units okay four indoor units and they are all in alarm. As you can see, these are in alarm, all flashing red. So I didn't see any OC. Oh, there's my OC, my condensing unit. I bring that in. Oh, it's crazy, it's flickering. Here it is. OC, right there. All right. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the search, cancel. I got everything I needed. There's no more. Once you get to your OC, the OC is always the last one to populate. Or populate. Alright. Yeah, so I know it's a bit difficult to see. Because the screen is flickering, but you could see. These are my indoor units. I got one, two, three, four of them. They're all in alarms because they're flashing red. And then you can see right here. That's indoors. Four of them and you can see right here this is my outdoor unit now this video is just to show you how to connect to this system so if you're with me this far we're almost there so now I'm going to show you how to get to the actual data so you're going to click on monitor and then you're going to go down to your uh, OC you can click on that and then you know, we'll see and you're gonna click on um, confirm and it's gonna give you a screen like that and it's gonna ask you about your model number so then what you do let's go down and check so this one is a Pumi 60 NK MU2 So uh, Pumi 60 NKMU2 right here. Click on that. And I think if you don't select the correct one there, guys, it's going to not show you the piping diagram. I'm going to show you what that is when I get in there. So you OK. It's going to go through, do its thing. Simple as that, all right? And um, that is how you connect with your, your connect your tool, your MN converter. There you go. There's the unit, there's the, there's the screen. Once you're here, these are all your indoor units at the bottom here. In the bottom of the screen right here. That's your indoor units, all of these. These are indoor units. So indoor units, there's four of them. 
This is your uh, set points. There's your set points right here. This is your um, uh, mode. State is in error right now. You know, cooling mode error. Fan speeds over there. Um, this is the condensed information. You know, model serial and stuff like that. Now this is where if you didn't select the right model number, you won't get this bit right here. It's pretty cool. It gives you the actual piping diagram. The indoors and outdoors. These are the indoors right here. And everything is off right now. This thing is an alarm. So you know if it was running you would see the fans spinning. You know, there's a condenser fan over here, condenser coil, compressor. Accumulator, the assimilated pipe in your four way valves, um, the LEV valve right here. Is that an LEV or solenoid valve? Yeah, solenoid valve. Solenoid valve. Uh, here's an LEV valve right here. The LEV valve right here. LEV valve. So that's that, guys. You know, um, if, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. You know, this is the whole entire piping diagram right here. And if you go on the indoor side, there's indoor. Indoor units. Everything is off right now though. Because we're in error. Okay. So it looks. Alright. So we got this is state error. That's one indoor. There's another indoor. There's an indoor coil. Alright. Zoom in some more with that. Okay. Indoor coil. There's one indoor unit. There's another indoor unit right here. Another one in the bottom here. This is the call. This is the LEV right here. Our metering device. Okay, that's your liquid line. This is your suction line. And so on and so forth. Alright? Boom. I'm gonna close this video off. Again, this is just to show you how to connect. Now, if you want to exit, you just press you want to go back to the data data screen. And you press this one. And you can see the numbers again. Alright, you can see the numbers. All right, all this is all the unit. Everything you need to know is right here. And if you want to leave this and go back to the offline monitor, you press return here. And if yes, it's going to go back. It's going to log you out. Pretty easy. If you got questions about this, leave it in the comment section. And like I said, I got um, not save. I don't want to save it. I have plenty of that, um, videos on this. Like from here, I could go to offline mode. I click uh, over here. You know what I'm saying? Right here. Are you sure you want to finish maintenance tool? Nobody's going to go right here and select mode select. And then, boom. Offline. There, whatever file you have saved on your computer, on offline mode, you select. There you go. I got some offline data here that I can review. All right. I can just click on them gonna bring it up on my screen there you go so listen I'm gonna close this video off if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed do so right now